everyone. Welcome to your ab challenge for today. Today we're going to work on some isometric core exercises, which means we're basically just going to be holding moves. So uh, it's going to fo force you to focus on drawing your belly button into your spine, really working on your core. We're also going to work your back muscles today because your, your, the back of you is also your core. So let's get started. First move for today is going to be uh, plank arms. What do I mean? Here we go. So we're going back into the plank move that we've, we did uh, earlier this week. So your hands are directly below your shoulders and we're just basically going to do taps. So plank shoulder taps. Your feet should be shoulder width apart, sinking your weight back into your heels. Belly button should be contracted up. <coughs> and we're gonna touch one side and then the other side. And then one side, nice and slow, nice and easy. Try to minimize rocking back and forth. We're not I isolating any muscle groups by doing that. I want you to focus on that glass of water on your back. Press everything together, up, 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 up. Take them at your own pace, okay? And you're gonna be doing those for 60 seconds. If you need to take a break in between, do the best you can so you can work up to as many as you can do in those 60 seconds. Our next move, we're gonna be doing a lunge. And it's crescent pose, and we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side, and everything needs to be held tight. So we're going back. Again, we have to make sure that the knee stays over your ankle and doesn't go forward over your toe. So here we are. You're gonna go down as low as you can go with keeping this back leg straight. Arms are gonna come up. Deep breaths. Shoulders should stay down away from your ears. Not up here, relax them down here. Hold that core in, hold everything tight. Squeeze your glute, everything stays tight. If you need to come up higher and just bend your knee a little, come up higher. If you can't bend your knees, just come up into a split stance. And you're gonna do 30 seconds on that side. And then we're gonna come 30 seconds into this side. All right, and when you do this move, focus on tucking your pelvis under. Strengthens your core muscles. So here's arch back, we don't want that. Tuck your pelvis under, make that little adjustment and you'll feel it, you'll feel your abs engage. <coughs> Next move, we're back down on the floor. We're going into a side plank. This move can be challenging, but it should not put excess pressure on your shoulder. Everything should be coming from here. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna put your elbow underneath your shoulder. You're gonna stack your feet one on top of the other. I'm gonna show you a couple variations to be able to doing this. You wanna make sure you are completely straight. Everything should be a straight line. You don't want your feet out here. You don't want them back here. Everything's a straight line. And we're just gonna lift up and keep everything straight. If you want a harder move, your arm can go up and you can look up in this guy. Push everything forward, not back here. Tighten everything up. Modification for this move. Put one knee down and lift up. If you wanna make it a little bit more dynamic, put a hip drop in it. This move is totally customizable. Do it the best way that works for you. And then switch over and do 30 seconds on the other side. One move I didn't show you on that side, a way to make it easier is a split stance rather than your feet being stacked. So let me show you how that goes. Split stance, one foot in front of the other. Push everything forward, arm up if you want to. The other thing that makes this a little more challenging is palms up instead of palms down. Try it both ways. So there's our side plank for today. Next, we're gonna work on our back. 
So we're gonna lay on our stomach. <laughs> and we're gonna do Superman pulses. So you're gonna lay flat out and your arms can either be here, they can be stretched out in front. Pick a place that's comfortable for you. And we're gonna lift up and count to 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lift up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Modifications to this, you're gonna do alternating sets. You're gonna pick up for 10 seconds and go down for eight. Do as many as you can. Modification, keep your feet planted on the floor instead of lifting them up. Looks like this. And you're gonna be, some of you may be able to only come up to here, that's okay. Another important tip to remember, make sure your head stays in line with your spine. So your head should not be up like this. It shouldn't be down like this. Look a few inches ahead of you. That keeps your neck and head in alignment. So our final move for today is bananas. So we're going to lay back. You're gonna lay flat on the floor. This is a great stretch, by the way. After you finish your core exercises for the day, just lay back and stretch like you're being pulled through a taffy machine. All right, so here we go. Remember in Pilates, we had to push our lower back into the floor. We're gonna do that again. So you're gonna push your lower back into the floor and we're gonna lift up and come down. And we're gonna lift up, exhale and down. Now, some of you are gonna need to be up here because you don't have the strength here yet. Totally fine. Head, neck, and shoulders off the ground. Bring them back. Wherever you need to be to keep that lower back pushed into the floor and check yourself. Check where your, your sticking point is so that you can get your hands under there. And down. And once again, you're going to do uh, for those, you're going to do reps. So you're going to work your way up to 12. And so do the best you can. Get in as many as you can. And I hope you have a great day today. Be strong.